And we can ride the boogie Share that beat of love I wanna ride Oh, you guys can see me. <clears throat> Hello, hi everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I am in the car. I'm actually at a concert or headed to a concert. It's a lot of traffic. Um, I am going to see uh, Maze and Frankie Beverly as well as the Isley Brothers. And I am so, so excited. This music gives me great joy and I am so excited to be a part of it. YouTube actually invited me. So if anybody at YouTube is watching this, thank you so much. It's always nice to be invited to these type of events, being such a small creator. Um, yeah, it's wonderful. Of course, I'll give you guys some behind the scenes. I'll show you my outfit of the day. I just did a simple makeup look and I have my hair in like a bun. Um, so yeah, I'm so, so excited. Mays and Frankie Beverly, I like them a little bit more than the Isley Brothers, but I still like the Isley Brothers. It is very rough driving into this. I left downtown at 6.30 and I got here at about 6.50, 6.55 and it's fine until you get up into the SoFi Stadium. Oh, by the way, the concert is at the YouTube Theater, which is at the SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. So it's fine until you reach to the parking like people are driving on the opposite side of the road they're not supposed to be doing that so it's creating a bunch of havoc one person did it and then like you know everybody follows suit so i'm gonna go ahead and get off my phone now and i'll show you guys behind the scenes once i get there Bye bye This is Brittany. In today's video, I am going to do a get ready with me everyday makeup look. Um, and I use some of my staple products. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. A long form video in a few weeks and I needed a much needed break just to sort of reevaluate my goals and where I want this channel to go. So I needed to make sure that I was in the right mind space before I decided to upload a video. So I have my hair in a bun. I'm trying to think of the next style I want to do. I swear, that is just, I know all black girls can relate. Because when you pick your next style, you have to be strategic about like what sort of events you have coming up, what you have to do, and there's a lot that goes into it. Well, first of all, I want to cut my hair. That's number one. I want to, my hair is very damaged at the ends. Go get a silk press and cut it to a bob, like bob, bob, bob. And then still like wear my hair natural. So that might be the move. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And I do like it. So I use two pumps. So 
So some of the things that I've learned over the last few years, um, being a content creator, is you have to remember that when you are doing something online, or any business for that matter, everyone is not going to be happy for you. Everyone is not going to support you. And that's okay. It's It was so hard for me to like get out of my head with that. Sometimes it's hard for them to be happy for you. And it sucks. But you have to know like, you have to think about the reasons why you are doing it. If you guys are starting out on any business venture, maybe it is, you know, being a content creator, just go for it. Because at the end of the day, your family and friends are not your target market. I remember I went to like this family party and someone was like, I see you doing your little thing on Instagram. Little, sir, ma'am, I've made a ton of money doing this little content creating you speak of. So it's not little. We have to talk about posting on Instagram because someone had told me as soon as you start like posting on TikTok, even if it's for yourself or if it's for content creating, it's so hard to post on Instagram. And on TikTok, it's the opposite. You can be completely yourself. You don't have to try that hard. It's just, like I was on there literally with my bonnet. Nobody is worried about you on TikTok. But on Instagram, you know that they are gonna be sharing your stuff in their group chat and just talking trash. But on TikTok, to me, it's just like a breath of fresh air. So I think ever since I've spent more time on TikTok, I'm just like, Instagram, ew. Now, because I monetize my Instagram, I do have to like save face. So I try to post at least like twice a week. If you're like a fan, a family friend or something and you want me to like your post, just send it to me because I'll do that. But it's like hard for me to be on that app. For the longest time, I've wanted to go to New York Fashion Week. Me and my friend, my best friend, Shagnoza talked about it, I would say like eight to 10 years ago. We didn't know how we would get there, but we were like, we want to go. And then over the past few years, I've seen a ton of influencers be invited to New York Fashion Week and they've gone and they've had a great time. And I'm like, wait a minute, I'm a fashion influencer. We're going, but this year, I don't know what happened. This year, I'm just not interested in fashion week. Honestly, I have no idea why. It's like, yes, I love fashion. Like, I love clothes. I love putting outfits together. This year, I realized I was over consuming. And I think it was like the second week of January. I'm like, I'm done. So I went through my closet. I donated four bags of clothes. I'm extremely blessed, but I had too much. And at the end of the day, I wear the same things over and over. So I it literally, it was no reason for me to have all of those clothes. So if you're watching this and you go to your closet and you're just immediately overwhelmed, and you're like, what am I doing? Start donating this stuff. It was such a relief. And even now, like I'm still looking at my closet like, girl, I think you can donate a little bit more. But I'm gonna take it slow because right now, I don't know if you guys saw my previous video, but I'm in the process of building my capsule wardrobe. Now, capsule wardrobe is just a collection of curated pieces. For me personally, I'm gonna try to stick to high quality pieces now don't get me wrong i still have my few pieces from h&m from target from zara but like moving forward i'm buying better quality pieces specifically pieces that are sustainable and better for the environment for valentine's day i was my husband knew like what i was 
doing as far as like building a capsule wardrobe focusing on better quality pieces which are oftentimes more expensive and he got me a gift card to Nordstrom and I'm like that is so sweet so normally me I would have been on Nordstrom immediately added stuff to my cart <laughs> but I still have it I have not used it Jessie Wu I don't know if you guys follow her on social media but she recommended the the Sephora translucent powder and to be honest I like it and it's cheap y'all it's like $17 I went back to my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and I'm using the shade 65 Toffee. And y'all know I'm not like a makeup artist. This is just the way I do my makeup and what I've been doing for years. I went to a birthday party. Um, a woman from our church, very sweet lady. She ended up turning 50 and that was we had such a nice time so birthday party my husband went to another birthday party after that and i'm like i would like to go home i don't know about y'all but like <laughs> hitting 30 31 i'm i don't like staying out late i like to be knocking on my room door 10 30 the latest because <laughs> I have to do my skincare routine and I have to like be in bed by 11. Now I might not go to sleep at 11, but I just don't want to be out in them streets. So my husband had another birthday party to a, to attend and it's just like one of his guy friends here in LA and I'm like, I'm going home. So I got dropped off and then he continued on to the next party. I'm like, the way you got so much energy, goodbye. He didn't even get back late. It was like, he got back at 12.30 and I was actually still watching Netflix. But I don't want to be coming home at 12.30. I want to be in my bed like I was doing. So, and I probably would have been grouchy out there anyway. So let me just go home. If y'all haven't tried orange blush as a brown skin, dark skin, dark skinned black girl you need to because I just love it it's so pretty I used to be like a light pink blush person and then I finally switched to orange after seeing I think it was Lydia Dinga she's so pretty I love her YouTube channel I think we're almost done oh I got distracted let me open this I love these um spindrift and i love the raspberry lime flavor i wish i had a straw but mm. so tasty at the birthday party and this woman i've seen her like in passing at church and she was like I just found out you're African American. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> and she's like, this whole time I thought you were Igbo. I thought you were Nigerian. I'm like, yeah, I get that a lot. But yes, I'm African American. I'm originally from Chicago. She goes, how was it for you marrying someone outside of your culture? So I was just like, oh, like it was different. Um, it took a lot of learning. Um, Peter and I dated for a year and a half before we got engaged um, and it takes a lot of like understanding and you have to appreciate you know each other's culture. She goes on to say like that her son is dating a Mexican girl and he is Yoruba. So basically I told her like it's important to have like these conversations on like what you expect, what I expect, what your spouse expects as far as like raising children get into the nitty gritty like it's gonna be different it's not the same as dating um and she like understood and she also said like would it be okay if like her son called um or if like we talk to them and i'm just like um maybe if we meet them like 
in church and it like gets to that i don't want to personally like counsel anybody or i don't know i just feel like that could be weird like we don't really know you or know them so anyways me and my husband have like a get to know us on my channel so if you guys want to watch that i'll leave that linked in the description as well this lip gloss was like I was like obsessed with this for a few weeks. It's from Love Lip Line and it is actually a black owned brand. So the lip gloss is, it just reminds me of like back in the day lip gloss, like middle school, when I was in middle school. But I actually really do like it. And then let's take this off. So yes. This is the makeup. Very simple. Obviously, y'all know I'm a simple girl when it comes to makeup. So, all right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. This was a quick get ready with me using some of my staple makeup products for a everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel and you want to be, please go ahead and subscribe. I will catch you guys in my next one.